Listen, this is an absolutely fire shoe and it's an absolutely epic video. You're gonna love all the content in here. Air Max 90s in the 30th anniversary year, bringing out a stonking new line called the Surplus Line with an absolutely fire colorway called the Desert with echoes of the off-white Air Max 90s that have dropped before. But before all that, before I get into that, favor time, AMZ Life Hong Kong, a great sneaker channel out of Hong, so Hong Kong, song, Hong Kong that got shut down and they're having to start from scratch. I'm not kidding. This channel was reasonably big. I mean, we're not talking crazy Seth Fowler big here, but they were reasonably big, bigger than my channel, uh, way up, you know, past a couple of thousand, maybe 3,000 subscribers. Uh, but their channel got shut down and we're pretty sure it wasn't anything to do with, you know, sneaker content. We think maybe the situation in Hong Kong had a part to play in that. So what we want to do is we want to help these guys build back up and build their channel back up, which is uh, AMZ Life. HK Hong Kong. Check it out. There'll be a link up somewhere. Uh, go over, you know, drop a subscribe, even if you don't know what they're talking about. If you don't speak Chinese, uh, don't worry about it. These guys deserve our support and deserve our help to get back to where they were. Uh, and they're definitely, 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 they're one of the channels that I support as much as possible. And I hope you guys can too. Uh, that being said, into this shoe today, like I said, you know, I, I get little 30 seconds to help my friends over at AMZ, but I want you to stick around for this shoe because it's absolutely fire. Uh, it's a beautiful shoe. Now, the Air Max 90 line celebrating its 30th year have brought out a bunch of different sort of, I'm going to go with silhouettes because they are different in, in the, from the standard kind of materials or the standard structure of the shoes. Now this one in particular uh, takes that to an even higher level because they've added certain things to the shoe that just aren't there on other Air Max 90s. Uh, so it's well worth sticking around to check out this video and have a look at those details as I take you step by step, by step through the upcoming release of the Nike Air Max 90 surplus desert. This is the Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel. Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel. This is my Nichi Upsum no Day, my Nichi Minty Kurosai. And every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And unfortunately, I don't have a drop date for you on this one. Now, I don't know when you're watching this video. Uh, I'm making this video in or early October, and it'll probably go up mid-October or early to mid-October. And um, we don't know the drop date yet. Now, it might be a couple of weeks away, and great, this video is, you know, in time with the drop. Or it could be months away, it could be the end of the year. They're saying sometime in 2020 um but I just saw this shoe and I was like, I'm absolutely making a video about that. And at the moment, at the time of shooting, I don't know the drop date, but you know, by the time you guys are watching this, it's very possible that you guys have found out the drop date and are looking forward to one of the greatest shoes, one of the best shoes of the season. Now we're talking about surplus. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm first, I'm gonna zoom in on the tongues so you can have a look at the tongues there and see that it says 90 surplus up there in the tongue branding as opposed to what it would normally say on an Air Max sneaker or an Air Max 90 sneaker in particular. So that's unique, but what they're talking about about. It's a bit like the Air Force Ones. There's the Air Force One Craft, which is a sort of same silhouette as Air Force Ones, but made in a slightly different way. And that's the same with these guys. Basically, first glance, you're thinking, yeah, that's an Air Max 90, but there's a couple of details on it that are slightly different. Uh, so what I'm hopefully zooming in on here is uh, a tiny little black tab that's very hard to see on the lateral side of the right shoe. And what it says on there is Cordera. Uh, and Cordera is a nylon material and I'm pretty sure it's a registered trademark uh, and it's rugged. The point of the Cordera is it's durable and it's rugged. So this, uh, the Surplus 90 up there in the tongues that I'm talking about is a whole new line uh, and in particular they're interested in durable and rugged materials and that Cordera tab only on the right side, the lateral side of the right shoe uh, is a nod to that and then we'll look in uh, the video today at the placement of that material and some of the other materials on the shoe. So uh, just bear in mind that Surplus tag up there in the tongue Tongue, that black tag up there on the side is all about the materials used to make this a durable and rugged sneaker. Uh, and what I want to do is to go to the outsole first because I think I'm right in saying that this has been enhanced to also make it rugged. We're getting away from, you know, what was maybe a sporty line. The Air Max 90 is a, a provision, predominantly a sporty line, but this to me looks like we're getting into trails or um, hiking or mountaineering or stuff like that. And that outsole right there, I think has been enhanced and is a bit more rugged than your normal Air Max 90 outsole because that would normally be a lot more smooth 
smooth than this and you can see the teeth uh, on the outsole there that give it that sort of definition and really match um, the sort of story of the shoe, the narrative of the shoe. Now coming back out, let's look at the lateral side. Uh, I don't have the lateral side on the right shoe, I have the lateral side on the left shoe and you know that because it doesn't have the black Cordero branding on there. Uh, but one of the things I want to talk about before we get into some more of the details on the shoe is the fact that it is a lot of different shades of tan. Uh, if somebody told you this is a desert shoe or a tan shoe, you'd expect a sort of consistent tan on there, but there's an awful lot of, I think it's to do with the materials because there's the rubber, uh, for example, in the eyelids, there's the nylon, the Cordero nylon, uh, and then uh, if you look kind of just above the midsole there, what we call the mud guard, uh, you can see that's actually natural fibres as opposed to the uh, man-made fibres of the nylon, and that just all of those different hits, uh, it gives a sense of sort of depth and, and difference in colour. So the, even though it's a single colour, single tone shoe, uh, the differences in the colour within the shoe kind of provide a little bit of contrast between the, the different panels and the different sections on there. So very, very cool. Um, so. Uh, if we zoom in, let's zoom in on, I'm going to zoom in around about the swoosh uh, because that will take in the swoosh, it will take in the little Air Max window below the swoosh, it will take in the air unit below that as well and then also that, that midfoot uh, sort of um, mud guard element on there and hopefully what you're seeing is you can see the tightness of the nylon which is much much more uh, durable than a regular nylon or a regular mesh uh, and that comes from that Cordera, Cordera branding but you've also got the swoosh on the side and then you can really see those natural materials of the mud guard on there uh, and then the, the little window says Air Max and then down into the uh, midsole with it. It's also the brown midsole and the brown air unit uh, towards the heel of the shoe. Uh, usually on an Air Max 90 somewhere in there there'd be a bit of contrast. Black swoosh, uh, white Air Max air unit, um, I don't know, like white branding up on the tongue or something like that. Something to provide definition but really the shoe is front to back just completely different shades of brown and different shades of tan. It's very, very cool. Uh, now, there are two particular things I want to look at um, that are unique to this shoe. Uh, one of them is a sort of almost like a branding hit, and that's on the toe box. So let's have a look at the toe boxes here. And you can see looking down from above, there's a sort of orange um, hazard warning kind of feel to it, uh, except when you come around to the medial side, there's a little bump on there. I think I'm right in saying there's a swoosh uh, on that bump. Uh, I would have preferred that to be the other way around so that the line was on the medial and then that sort of bump was on the lateral side but it's a small detail uh, but it does add that little bit of contrast and a little bit of color that's missing from the rest of the shoe and I think it's very very cool I like it very much uh, and then going up from that to the top of the lacing system I did say uh, that the branding on there with the 90 surplus uh, is a unique way to brand the tongues on these guys if you look from the lateral side another unique element in addition to the shoe is pull tabs on the tongue and pull tabs on the heel which you usually don't see on Air Max 90s and, and a unique addition but they do not detract from the shoe at all. They still hold it together. I'm not sure what the purpose is. I'm wondering if there's something to do with like mountaineering or uh, you wear like four pairs of socks when you're hiking so it's harder to get shoes on and off or something like that. Uh, but there must be a reason why they decided to put pull tabs front and aft on this one. Uh, and speaking of aft, we might as well go around to the back of the shoe and look at the final thing which is the Nike branding on the back. Nike Swoosh Air on that standard Air Max 90 branding panel on the back. And again, this is a great place to look to see the different shades of brown that help this shoe be a bit more than just a single tan sneaker so uh, uh, like I said at the start you know there's echoes of that off-white uh, desert sneaker I think it's called desert ore now that I think about it uh, and it does have that feel about it and that little bit of hit of orange on the toe box as well I think will get people thinking about that I think that's all deliberate and as far as the first shoe in the Nike Air Max 90 surplus line goes I am absolutely yes on these guys I think they are very very cool and I'm pretty sure they're gonna fly off the shelves whenever they come into stock, which we don't know yet, but maybe when you're watching this, you already do. Uh, okay, time for me to sign off, guys, and thank you for checking out the content. It is uh, Sunday afternoon, and I said I was doing two videos today. Uh, before this one, I did the Nike Air Jordan 1 uh, women's sisterhood comfort, um, and then here we are with the Nike Air Max 90 surplus desert. Uh, so I've got two videos churned out and they'll drop over the next few days. Hopefully you guys are enjoying that content and dropping comments down below to let me know how it's going. Uh, but all I have to do now is just to do what I do at the end of every single video. And this is like every day I'm doing this, guys, for 670, 680 consecutive days, not a single day missed. Uh, and I do this every single day and that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.